Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Blender 2.828. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the web browser. And inside the search bar here, we're going to type in Blender. And we'll see this website here, blender.org. Let's click on this link here. And then we'll see this blue button, download Blender 2.828, which is the latest version. So let's click that button. And then as default, the web browser is going to detect what operating system I'm using. I'm using Windows, it's going to offer me the Windows installation. If you want to select a different operating system, you can do that from down here. I'm going to click on this blue button here. It's going to take me to the thank you page and the software will start to download automatically. It's 130 meg, so depending on your internet speed, it may take a little bit of time, but it should take a few seconds for me. That's downloaded, so I'm going to drag and drop it into this folder. Let's close this and we'll just double click on this file. And we can see the splash screen here and we can see Norton's has checked it and it's safe to install. So we'll click the next button, we'll accept, click next, and then click next again. And then we'll click the install button. Okay, Blend is fully installed, so we'll click the finish button. There's an icon here, we can just double click on that to launch Blender. Let's just check everything's working correctly. We can click general here. We can see the cube, the default cube, the camera and the light source over here. Everything seems to work correctly. Let's just go into our render view and we can see everything's rendering that correctly. So I'll be making lots more Blender tutorials. I'll put some links in the YouTube description. If you want to follow some of my other tutorials, uh, then feel free to check the, the link to my playlist in the YouTube description. But for now, that's how you go about installing the latest version of Blender, which is Blender 2.82a. I hope you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.